Hey guys, Jeff Kelson here from Dynamic Painting, and I'm pumped to be part of this 506 project. Hey guys, Ray here from Area 506 with another update on our waterfront container village. Uh, project. So we're about six weeks in and this week we wanted to really focus on the process of like prepping our containers, washing them down, grinding them, getting them ready and also painting them which is like proven to be one of the most complicated parts of this whole process. So we're going to take some time, we're going to talk to Jeff Kelson from Dynamic Painting. So let's get her going. So Jeff, tell me a little bit about Dynamic Painting. Well, we are, we've been around for a long time. My dad started the business in uh, 1978. Started, it was actually Loyalist Painting that he started in 78 and we've expanded. We have three companies now, OSK Coatings and Dynamic Painting, which is doing the project here for 506. Very cool. So it's um, like we mentioned kind of a few times, kind of supporting local partners and things of that nature. A lot of your business is in and around the St. John area. Mm -hmm. Focused a lot on commercial, industrial, residential work as well. Right, yeah. Big success story, yeah. right? Which is why we're working together. So we kind of think about how things have gone. We're about six weeks into the process now. And I mean, painting is one of those things that has to happen at the right period of time in the project. So what I didn't really realize when we first got into this is all of the prep work that needs to happen. So mm. we've already gone through and brought the grinders in and kind of tuned up all the containers so that they're looking good, almost in perfect shape. Right. We had Stu's cleaning come in to kind of soak them all down and clean them all down and they've been great to work with yep. and that process has been amazing. And now we're in the process, I guess, of one coat of primer and then two coats of, uh, of finish right. for what we're looking at That's right. right now. And I mean, this project is 54 containers uh, in, in size. That to me takes an awful lot of time and organization. Mm -hmm. So um, talk me through a little bit about some of the work that we've been doing together, and maybe a little bit of the challenges that we've seen so far. Well, uh, the biggest challenge uh, for us so far has basically been time of year. I mean, we are inside, obviously, inside this shed, but it's not heated, therefore it's been cold. So we. We were able to do the prep work and, and all that, but we're just able to get started painting now. The temperatures are starting to warm up a little bit and, uh, and we're getting going, so we're excited. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed that the temperatures stay that way, right? Yeah. So we talk about color as well. So we've done an awful lot of work together on kind of choosing that palette. And I think uh, this sort of kind of nautical vibe is where we've landed to. So we've got the turquoise here. We've got uh, a flat black that's for our crew lounge specifically. We've got a dark blue, we've got a light blue, and then we've got this sort of bright blue color, which I think when we think about how the whole project kind of comes together, I think it looks pretty cool. And I, think, great. and I think it's gonna look great. And even as we're kind of looking at some of the initial containers being done, I think that they look great. And I think the color really pops. Mm -hmm. But tell me about like some of the challenges from a paint perspective on this kind of project? Like what are the kind of things that you need to think about, you know, for a long term or on the water? You know, talk to me a little bit about the specific paint. Yeah, because of the logistics of where we're gonna be right on the wharf and you're right next to the to the ocean, salt water and salt spray. Um, we did go with uh, an industrial product for the containers for the longevity where you're going to be there for 15 years potentially. So um, we're using an epoxy primer, which is a two component epoxy primer, and then two coats of a, of a polyurethane two component finish. So it's, uh, you've got a, a Cadillac system there to give you the longevity that hopefully these containers are going to be looking great at the, even at the end of your 15 years. Well, that's fantastic. And I think one of our priorities obviously is we want a quality project or a product that the entire city, the entire region is going to be proud of. And I think that kind of thinking in terms of doing it right is really, really important to kind of set us up for success. So I really appreciate that kind of insight. And then the last thing that I was going to kind of mention is when we look at some of these tools, like understanding when we look at our container loft, there's a lot of containers in here. We're moving a lot of stuff in and out. What are the kind of tools that are important to kind of keep us on track and make sure that the whole team is kind of lined up to uh, to know exactly what they need to do? So we, uh, we've had a designer map out the, uh, the whole lot here and how the containers are going to be are going to be situated and uh, give us an idea of a nice mix of the way the colors are going to are going to flow together and uh, and then you've got the other section that shows 
Obviously, every container isn't going to be exposed, so we're only painting certain sides of each container to, uh, to help minimize the cost there, too, for you guys. Yeah. Well, I think, like, the right tools, the right partners makes the whole project go so much smoother, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, that's great. Jeff, I really appreciate the update. And make sure you check in at area506.ca or check us out on our social, social channels to follow the project as it goes along. But that's it for this week. We'll see you next week.